everyone. This is Marek and this is the Tefl Show podcasts and videos. And in this very quick video, I wanted to show you how to set up your own course on Memrise, uh, which is a website and an app for learning new vocabulary. I won't go into details why I think this app and uh, website is really, really good for learning vocabulary. Um, I'll do that in another video. Uh, but I've used it a lot myself as a language learner and I've used it with my students and the feedback has always been really, really good. Um, so check it out if you haven't used it yet. And it's very, very simple to log in as well. Uh, you click on sign up if you don't have an account yet or you click on login. If we'd clicked on sign up, the window here, the screen would be exactly the same. So you can sign up or log in with Facebook. So it's very easy, just one click. And then you land on your dashboard and you can see all the courses that you've been using here. Uh, but to create a course, uh, you want to go to courses here at the top and then you want to create a course here. Right. First, you want to choose a name for your course and you need a name that your students will be easily able to recognize. Um, so, for example, you can put business English morning class BNP Paribas if that's a class you've recently been teaching as I have. And then you can select English as the language that you're teaching. But if you're teaching another language, then you've got French, Spanish and all sorts of different languages. Um, so English and then for I usually select English speakers. But if you know your students L1, you could select the L1 here as well. Uh, then tags. If you want the course to be publicly available and you want other people to be able to find it easily, then add a tag, for example, business English. But if you're just using it with your students and the course is hidden, it doesn't really matter what tags you use. Uh, then you can also add a description and a short description, but we can do that later. And you create a course here. Right. So you could add all the words here and have just one long list of words. Uh, but um, as time go goes on on the course, you will probably have different themes, different topics, uh, and you want to arrange uh, the Lexis in those different groups. So what you want to do is add level and now automatically you'll have two levels here. Right? If you want to add another level, then you'll click here and add an English level. And then you probably want to add a name here. Okay. Um, and this again should be something that will tell the learners what this level is about. So for example, you could have business emails. Okay, and you'll add the vocabulary that's useful for writing business emails. Uh, or also you could just have class two and perhaps add a date. So today is the 20th of May 2016. Um, if the vocabulary that you started on a given day doesn't really fit any of the topics, then you can do it like this. Okay, and then you want to add some new words. Okay, um, so let's say. Uh, for business emails, you've just uh, learned the phrase or taught the phrase on behalf um, of. And as you can see in here, you will find the uh, definitions that have already been added of this phrase that have already been added to the database. Uh, so some of them might be uh, might be useful and you won't have to add a definition yourself. Uh, but uh, in this case, they, they aren't very useful. So I'm just going to add my own definition. And I like to add example sentences so the learners see the word or the phrase straight away in a context. So I could write something like, I'm writing to you on behalf of Mr. Smith, i.e. instead of, right? So, and then you click enter to add the word and there you go. You've got it there, so the learners will see that definition. Uh, there is no pronunciation, there's no audio for it, um, unless it has already been added to the database. So you want to add it yourself here. Very simple. Click on record. You get this screen. You click on record here. On behalf of. And then it saves. And if you had more words in this level, you could automatically record all the pronunciation for all the words one by one. You just click um, on this arrow here, or if you clicked on next, it would take you to the next word. But since we only have one word, and I click on next, it just saves the, uh, the pronunciation for that word. You can also add the phonetic script here, the part of speech, the gender, and you can also add other columns if you want to. Uh, 
Another cool feature is bulk AdWords in advanced here, bulk AdWords. So let's say you've already got a list, for example, in Word, um, a list of vocabulary, or maybe one of your students has, uh, then you can add all of these words just with one click. And in here you can see uh, it explains how to format the list so um, you can add it to memorize. So that's really cool as well. And um, you can further edit the course in contributors. So let's say you're co-teaching that class and you want the other teacher to be able to, um, uh, to help you edit um, the course, add new vocabulary. Then uh, you can add the contributor here. The contributor needs to uh, have an account on Memrise to be able to, um, uh, to be added. You can also add your students to it. I've tried it uh, a couple of times as well with my classes. Um, so the students will be able to edit that course and perhaps add the vocabulary that they find useful. Uh, which I think is, is quite motivating for them as well. But you want to be careful about adding too many people as contributors because I think it can get a little bit messy. Um, and in details, uh, you can change any of the details that we put in at the beginning. So name, tags, description, the category. Um, also the status of the course. If you select unlisted, it's your, only the people who get the link, the direct link to the course will be able to see it. So this will probably be just your students. Uh, but if you make it public, then everybody on Memrise will be able to see it. So you wanna choose there whether you know it's just for your students or you wanna make it more publicly available. Uh, you can also upload a picture here and delete the course. So that's very simple. Uh, it took me maybe two seconds to two minutes to um, prepare that course. And um, once you spend a little bit more time on it and um, you add the words um, to the course, and I want to show you what you can get. This is a course I created last summer uh, with 442 words for my EAP students. Okay, So it's divided into 30 levels, I think. Each level is kind of 10 to 15 words, depends. Um, so, for example, uh, let's click on... Uh, um, linking words cause and effect okay and you can see what you've got here so again I've got um, example sentences uh, rather than just definitions uh, but on other levels um, I've got um, other types of uh, definitions um, so it's it's up to you how you want to um, define the word for your learners but I find that kind of putting it in context like here uh, so adding collocations, example sentences, I think that works really, really well because the student will be able to see how they can use the words straight away. Uh, it might look like a lot of work to you, but it's not that much work actually. Um, I kind of, I spend, you know, a couple of weeks doing it. Um, once a week or twice a week, I would add a new level with the words that I noted down in class or that my students um, asked me about or that came up in the course book and then I was dividing them into into levels and another cool thing is the leaderboard here now the course is open to public so there's all sorts of people using it but it used to be just for my students um, so I could see how many points uh, a week or a month each student would get so you could really control which students are doing work and uh, which aren't uh, so you can just come to class and, you know, say, uh, oh, Javier, I, I, I haven't seen you memorize this week. Do you mind, uh, you know, doing a little bit of work uh, this week? You can also have a competition. Uh, so uh, sometimes I would have a weekly prize for the person who got to the top of the list. And it's, it can work really well with some groups. Uh, they get really competitive, especially maybe if you've got teenagers, but with adults as well. Uh, some students really enjoy trying to get to the top of um uh, of the leaderboard here. So I think that's a really cool feature as well. Uh, so um, this is how to set up a course on, uh, on Memrise. If you've got any questions, post them uh, below the video or on our website, thetefelshow.com. If you've enjoyed these videos, uh, then uh, please like us and share us on YouTube. We're also on Twitter at The Tefl Show and on Facebook. Maybe leave us a rating as well on iTunes or a comment. Uh, we'd really appreciate that and uh, stay tuned for, for more videos and more podcasts. And thanks a lot for listening.